stop blaming dating apps. Please stop blaming dating apps. New fear unlocked, new fear unlocked. This video has gone viral about a dating, an, an online dating that went terribly wrong and almost has a lady on a life. Hey beautiful people, how you are doing today? It's your girl Destiny here and welcome back to my channel. How you are doing? Hope you guys are doing great. Today's video is a video of a lady that was sharing the story of a friend's friend and she wanted to talk about how a friend's friend got to meet this guy she met on a dating app. They went on a date, things were amazing and then things went left when she called the cops on him and got to her living room and found out that this guy has covered her, her living room with plastic bag yes I'm, I'm muting a lot of part of the story but this story has gone viral and has gotten a lot of people talking before we get into this video okay go down in the comment section and share some of the tips you use as safety measure as a woman to be on dating app and date around and date multiple people at the same time so anyway guys we'll go check out the video people's response to it and then i'll come back and share my thought my response and some safety tips i think i give and some like a story time too of something that happened to me too so anyway guys let's go check out this video and then we'll come back and talk more story time on why you should um, be really careful about who you're dating so uh, this is a true story, friend of a friend kind of thing. There was a young girl, she lived in New York City, and she was on a dating app and matched with this um, you know, young guy. He seemed like a really great person. He had his stuff together, good job, um, lived local to the area. Um, they talked for a few weeks, everything was going really great. No red flags, all of that good stuff. He decides to ask her out one night and they end up going to, she agrees, they end up going to this really nice restaurant. He pays, he's a gentleman, he's nice to wait staff. They wrap up the night and they both go to their respective homes. And after she gets settled at her apartment, she gets text from him saying that he lost his key and he's trying to get a hold of his roommate. His roommate isn't home, but his roommate is also not answering. So he's kind of like stuck outside of his apartment, just sort of like telling her that. And she just kind of figures, all right, I'll invite you over. So, um, you know, maybe give him a little bit of time to figure out what's going on, either find his key or get in contact with his roommate. So he comes over to her apartment and they have, you know, a really nice chat. They sit on the couch and she decides that she's going to go to bed. She doesn't know why, but she goes into she goes into her own bedroom, which has a door, and she ends up locking it. And it's just like, it's just one of those things that she felt like she needed to do, which I totally get like, you know, new people in your space. Um, sometimes it's nice to just be extra cautious. Mm -hmm. So she goes to her bedroom, she locks the door, and he's sleeping on the couch. Around three in the morning, she wakes up to a knocking on her door. It's her date. And he asks her if she has a cell phone charger because his cell phone is dead and he needs to charge it. This is the part where it gets like really crazy. So she tells him that she has one and it's on the kitchen counter. And she just tells him this through the door. She doesn't get up. She doesn't unlock the door. She doesn't go and find it for him. And I'm thinking to myself, if this was me, I would totally get up and grab it for the person and give it to them and then be like, all right, anything else? Good night. He says, thank you. He goes, he grabs the charger or whatever. She doesn't know. She just goes right back to sleep. A few minutes later, he knocks on the door again. He said it's not working. And does she have one in her room? At this point, she's thinking that there's something up. She decides to call the police, which once again, good for you, girl, for having the instinct to connect with the police. The police show up to the apartment. They knock on the door. She hears some commotion going on. And then she gets a knock on her bedroom door. Because mind you, she hasn't come out this entire time. And it's a police officer. And he said, we've cleared the apartment. We have him in custody. We really need you to come out of your room so you can take a look at your apartment. She opens the door and walks out and she sees that her entire living room is plasticed and there is a set of power tools sitting on the floor. This girl, because of her instinct to not open the door to a weird request for a phone charger in the middle of the night saved her. Before you decide to take someone home or let them stay at your place, think twice about it. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I always thought dating apps were very skeptical and they're very like weird. But like, you meet somebody on a dating app and they said they locked out of their house. Yes, you have fun. 
Ooh, that was crazy. But you don't know what I mean. You do not know what I mean. Why would you ever give that man somewhere to sleep? And now you're living in this plastic wrap. I don't even know what happened, but that's just crazy to me. And it's NYC. I don't like that. If I was not married, I would not be dating anybody. And sometimes you don't even know who I'm married to. I've been super sick, so I've just been scrolling. The story about the girl living room that was wrapped in plastic. Ain't no way, ain't no way I would invite somebody back over to my place after one day. Second off, I'm nervous as hell. So if you're going in and out my front door bringing in shit, I'm going to pull up my ring and I'm going to see what you're doing. I would be single, 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 not looking, not dating, don't want to have sex, nothing. Single. Stop blaming dating apps, please. Stop blaming dating apps. Yes, they are absolutely terrible. They're horrible, but I'm letting you know, the people that are on dating apps are also the people that are in real life. You have to have common sense and discernment. Like, I was watching this thing with the whole tarp in the bedroom. She met this guy. They, you know, went back to her place after the vibes was good. He left, came back, said his roommate... He was waiting on a text from his roommate because he was locked out. She was like, okay, cool. They were in the living room. She went to bed, locked her room, left her in the living room. Long story short, this man was a psycho and was planning to... He tried to get her out of the room multiple times. And she said, no, I'd be damned if this is my apartment and I'm stuck in my room because I have a weirdo in my living room. I'm going to tell you to leave. And this is why it is important to not be a people pleaser and have a guy mm -hmm. backbone. No one's coming up to my apartment on the first link any ways. So it wouldn't have mattered if she met this man on a dating app or if she met this man at the bar. If you are going to let this man come to your apartment, that's what you're going to do on the first link. It's just insane. That's why me, I do my own personal background checks. I get the first, last name. I get the tag number on the card. That's, what, that's just me. I don't know about what y'all do, but stop blaming the dating apps. You have to have the discernment and the common sense anyways. So it's like when I was watching somebody retell the story, it was like so many red flags. I'm like, what? You a grown ass man. Why do you need to come up to my space to wait for your roommate? I'll be like, well, I could be on the phone with you. That's as much as you're going to get from me. I need a bathroom. Well, there's a QT down the street. Go to the bathroom with the QT. Like what? So yes, Hinge, Tinder, all these apps, they're absolutely terrible. They really are. But that's not... You can't blame them for you not having enough sense to keep yourself safe. Like, if you felt the need to close your door and not leave your apartment door because you're scared, like you have an inkling that this person might be weird, why would they need to be in your why would they need to be in your space in the first place? Anyways, ladies, be safe. Be safe. Always have someone with your location. Always give an update on these dates. Always know who's taking you out. If this is your first link up with a person, you need to be in a public space. There's no rush for him to see your apartment. I know sometimes as a woman, you be wanting to show off like, oh, I got this, I got that. Cut that out. But also, like, you can't hold hands responsible. You must do your due diligence. That's it. That's all. Especially if you don't have a roommate or anything like that, like, just 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 prioritize safety please because that shouldn't have happened there's just no way that dating app tarp tool horror story the one that everyone seems to have heard from like a friend of a friend that story has been going around for years 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 so like yes of course careful but that particular story where he comes back while she's sleeping with the tarp and the tools it's giving urban legend. So please, for the love of God, be careful. That's always true. Listen, this right here is why I'll stay single forever. Like, because people are insane. And I feel like I already don't trust people. And I always feel like you're either out to get me or you're out to hurt me. I know it sounds crazy. But I feel like... I just, listen, we would have never made it out of the dating app. We would have never made it to wherever they went to a date on. That is how fearful I am of just dating in general. I Like, I have no idea how I have managed to meet people, <laughs> meet a man, get married, have kids, date a man and have kids. 
And because my fear of people is so entirely strong. I don't know why it is. I just don't. It takes a long time for me to get over that hump when I do meet somebody. I'm like, yeah, Erica, they're not going to. But yeah, I don't know. It, cause I just refuse, especially too now that I have kids. Baby, I'm not dating nobody. Because you're not going to find me dead somewhere. Because weirdo wants to take his weird quirks or whatever and do that stuff to me. You're not going to be... There ain't no police going to walk into my house and find a tarp of nothing. <laughs> Nowhere. Listen, y'all... Us as ladies, like, we have to be safe out there. And to hear a shit like this just lets me know how truly it is. And I would prefer to stay single versus be wrapped up in somebody's tarp. Yeah, that is going to be my safety is I'll just stay single. I'm glad that she had some type of common sense and locking her doors. Now, the lack of common sense is she left that man in her house that she, and she won't, she only knew in person for not even a full 24-hour period. And she left that man in her house. I'm not saying that we, at some point in life as women, we haven't done that. Because um, I'm sure we have. But I don't know. I, so, there had to be a vibe. There had to be like a red flag or like something that she said. Or I'm sorry, something that he said that kind of just triggered a red vibe a red flag or some like gut instinct like something about this isn't right that eliminated that man coming into your house all together like he had to sit outside and waited for that phone call from his friend for real but i'm glad she locked her door i'm glad she had common sense to call the police i'm glad they were able to come and she is safe and sound and alive but us women, we have to be safe. All right. Love y'all. Bye. Bye. Why are the most weirdest people on dating apps? I haven't tried dating apps in a long time. Like when I tried a dating app, it was plenty of fish. I don't even think that's around. I don't know. I'm not going to go look. Y'all tell me in the comments. But like. My experience was weird too. Like everyone professed to be this and this and that, and they weren't that. You know, I tried probably three candidates, and one was cool until he wasn't cool. He spazzed out in the car and was just like, "Why you said you wanted to go to the movies, but now you don't want to go to the movies?" And I was just like, "Left field." There's more to the story, but it's too long to tell. I just really wanted to highlight the story that um about the girl who recently went on a dating app and the guy pulled off some weird ish first of all if you meet somebody and it goes well let it go well a couple of times a couple of dates not just one time and then you invite somebody over now some women are super nice gullible naive and they'll say okay yeah great like i'm going with the vibes but mm -mm. i don't know i feel like the people go into these apps because it's awkward to meet people or they're shy or they want to increase their chances. It's some of those reasons, right? Because not all crazies go on there because a lot of women go on there to look for love. And a lot of men, I don't know if a lot of men go on there to look for love, but I think a lot of men go on there to find those women who are looking for love to prey on them as well. Because it becomes like a meat market. Like everyone's like meeting up, dating, hooking up, and then they start all over again and it's not a real match. I know that match has been successful for a lot of like, my corporate girlies, but anyways, y'all go look up the story about the girl. Went on a date. It was great. I don't know why this guy ended up coming back to her apartment, but he did. And I think he said something about having to wait for his roommate. Anyway, she um, said, sure, you can stay in the house. Um, I'll be in my room. She goes in her room. She locks her door. Thank God she locked the door. And homeboy's looking for a charger. And she tells him where the charger is. It's in the kitchen. And then he knocks again because she's in her room. She's talking from behind the door. And then he's like, well, this one isn't working. Do you have one in your room? And I don't know if that activated some type of gut feeling. 
I hope to God that it did. I guess it did because she never came out, but she was prompted to now call the cops. I feel like women sometimes do things that they don't want to do. So she's probably like thinking and knowing that wasn't a good idea to invite her, invite him back to the apartment. But if she's thinking it's going to be a controlled situation, I'll get in my room and I'll stay there. And I don't know, but she called the cops. And when she cops came, why did homeboy have like a whole bunch of like plastic in her house? I don't know how true the story is. This is what I'm reading. So did he go inside her cabinet and let's get like a ton of plastic? What kind of plastic was it? Was it like Reynolds wrap? Was it like the stuff that you wrap the turkey in when you have leftovers? Like the bags that you get from Key Food? Because I keep bags from like my cat litter. But like plastic what? Garbage bags? To do what? To put it in garbage bags and leave? It was so weird. Have you guys heard this story again? And let me know if you on dated apps because <clears throat> mm -mm. new fair unlocked. <laughs> anyway, please let me know what you think about this story down in the comment section. But as always, please keep it respectful. You're on this channel, we're allowed to disagree, but we do it in a respectful way. So go ahead, feel free and share your thoughts. Okay, love, love to know you guys' take on this. But well, like I said, be respectful. So, like the other creator said, I think that. I know people are very like demonizing and talking about how terrible dating apps are and how oh you can't really find anything tangible there. But the truth is that I found people that really that found good relationship there. I know of a friend that she found a husband through there. But you guys know how I feel about the century men and all that. But yeah. So I don't know. Let me know, those of you in the dating game, let me know what you guys think about dating app. Do you think it's horrible? I remember when I did the Bumble. Um, hold on. Oh. <laughs> I remember when I did the Bumble one. Some people were like, oh, dating app is trash. Da -da 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 -da. And now you're in this story of how this woman was almost on a, uh, how this woman was almost on a life. For me, it's really scary. But I feel like whether it's being on dating app or meeting the person in person or running into the person on the park, the gym and all that, ladies, be careful out there. Be very, very careful out there because whether you like it or not, there's a lot of prey. As much as, yes, we're looking for love, looking for a partner and all that, there are a lot of prey out there that is going to take advantage of the fact that you want that. And thank God that she used a discernment. And this is why you need to trust your discernment you need to trust your instinct it never lies to you if something feels off something feels off and i guess this lady was this lady it happens to was a young lady and she was just like you know we'll go with the flow but the first thing is that never let a total stranger in your house in your space just like that like in fact why does he even know the address to your house on the first date like why so be very very careful i remember sometime this year be very careful like really true pointing out where you are i remember sometime this year myself and my friend maria went out uh, we traveled for a vacation i think february march this year and we're just walking down the street of senegal and we're like we wanted to get food like we we're looking for that authentic senegalese type of food like the senegalese we're actually just looking for senegalese so we're taking a walk and just asking the locals around and in the process of asking locals around we run into a man and this man and this is why i said it could be on app and it could be in reality and it happens to be that this same man we pass this same man on the streets close to our hotel but the man was complaining about the beads that were showing in my friend's waist. And we ran into him again. And we're just laughing. He was very helpful. He was asking us what we're looking for. We're like, we need to eat um, Senegalese food and all that. Because that's how we are. Like, we want to try the local food. Okay? So we're like, okay, we want that. And this man was really like, okay, I'll take you guys to this place. And we were just, uh, we're two girls. We're just okay, taking the work. And it was like, the, yeah, this place, they sell. It took us to this place. They do, I think they, they were, it wasn't available. They were closed. And he even stopped by to buy us the coconut water thing. And we had, we loved it. And then we walked ahead. He took us to this nice place. We finished eating. Like, we ate. The food was really nice. And then he was like, it's going to walk us back. And this place... It was just awkward, very awkward. But because 
as women, especially as women, and you're traveling, you're in a different country, you have to be very careful. So as we're walking back, he decided that, oh, he's going to walk us backwards. They were just a thing thing. Like when you when you're a girl, girl, you know, like we didn't have to talk about it myself and Mara because he was president. We didn't have to talk about it, but we knew right away that we're not taking him to our hotel. So as we were going, we went to a different hotel from our hotel and went up to their restaurant. And he thought that was where we were. And I bet you guys this man will probably come back the next day to look for us. But that's to say is that we didn't give him any hints that we're married or anything. Ladies, be very smart about it. Be very smart when you're dealing with men, especially the psycho ones, because you could just trigger us and just we played it very cool. And we bet that he will come the next day, like to look for us in that hotel. But we were totally far off from our own hotel. So, ladies, just be careful. Always use your discernment. If something, don't always allow them to have easy access to you like that. Mm -mm -mm. Especially when you don't know them like that. Especially when they, they will want to play down, like, oh, what are you scared about? Do I look like somebody that's going to harm you? Yes. Yes. The most milk person can harm you. Ladies, don't. You see, that's one of the reasons we'll pick the bear over a man. So always protect yourself. Be very safe a lot. If you want if you want to go out on a first dinner date, some of the tips I will give is that if you want to go, I know I've not been in the dating game for a long time, but if you want to go first, don't you you meet at the location. Because I know some ladies want to say, Oh, I want the princess treatment and send a car to my house to pick me. Not on the first date. Don't do that. Don't do that. You take an Uber, don't even drive your car. Take an Uber and go and take an Uber back. With an Uber, he can have the registration of your car and all that. And even if you're driving your car, park your car where he's not going to follow you. Or when it's time to go, don't let him follow you to your car so he doesn't have your plate number to probably do whatever with it. So be as private as possible when you are out there dating, I know. It can be hard sometimes to sit down with yourself, your thought, and love yourself. You just need to be in a relationship. I know there are ladies like that, but please, 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 ladies, be safe out there. There are a lot of crazy cycles out there. So please, please, please be careful. And always put your safety first. Don't lose your guard. Even, even with a man you know, things can go wrong. Then talk less of a man you don't know. Things like, come on, come on. Anyway, guys, please go ahead and share your thoughts. Share this video with somebody that you want to be part of the conversation because that's what we do here. We have bangy conversation. So go on and share this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, smash the like button because this helps YouTube to push out my content for more people to see. And that will be you supporting this channel and this girl here. So go on and do that and share this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up smash the like button because this helps youtube to push out my content for more people to see and that will be you supporting this channel and this girl subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys in my next video Deuces.